Hi everyone, we're just going to do a bit of a rundown on some of the packing and organisational aspects of our camping. And our camp setup. Yeah, and our camp setup. Having a rooftop tent and working with just a single vehicle, you have to be quite clever in the way that you pack things and store things. And so we're going to show you some of the things that worked for us and not all of them are the most expensive um, bits and bobs that you need to buy. Oh, so. they work. But they work, yeah. So uh, we'll just show you around. This is our normal setup, effectively. Uh, King's awning, two and a half by two and a half. We had a two by two, but uh, last year when we were at Paloobi, house decided to do some aromatics and went over the car. Quite literally. With a gust of wind, dented old Cole's door um, and twisted up the frame, so we need another one, but for 120 bucks. <laughs> You can't go wrong. Um, in the future, we're going to look at a 270 wrap round. Sort of stuff. It's a few bucks. Yeah. King's Cam Table. That uh, packs away beautifully. Which packs away nice and small. Sand packs down there. Uh, yeah. And this is this is it. It's, it's, we're, we're, we're fairly basic. We're pretty simple. But we have everything. Of buttons on. Yep, so you should see red up the top. Yep. Okay. So come in closer. This is these are your <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Let's try again. So we have the Titan King's drawers that we've had for a couple of years and when we started camping we just literally threw everything in. Like this was more our cooking drawer and this was more our food drawer or pantry. For this trip coming closer um, we tried to organize it a bit better where we've got right at the back we bought a bunch of can canvas bags, which believe it or not are from Audi the adventurer adventure Ridge and they're quality and they've got um, handles and it's proper canvas and it's see-through so this is our like we've got our jet boil and different cooking things that we don't use all too often hence why it's at the back so using these canvas bags I know it sounds simple but the, <laughs> this is our first trip where we've actually purchased them and it's been a game changer that's our Jace Jace we call him our cooker then I've got another smaller one where it's got all the um, Gas bottles for Jace. Gas bottles, yeah. Being a smaller and going with a rooftop tent, obviously space is an issue. So anything that's um, easily foldable or easily can be tucked away neatly is, is the way to go. So our cutlery, what we found, again, this is common sense for some people, but we didn't do it to start with. Kmart sell a lot of um, collapsible plates and cutlery and things like that now we don't get collapsible cutlery do you but <laughs> <laughs> well technically you get a spork see the summer these were some from snowy so they're cups sorry these flies are bugging me um again a game changer we had uh, other cups that were you still always get caught and, and stuff they get caught so yeah so all of that's in there so we call this our cooking drawer and in here is all our utensils that we need for cooking and then peelers and uh, can openers and things like that so it's just all easily accessible and then the chopping boards go down on this side is our pantry drawer now again <laughs> we used to just dump everything in here and having the canvas bags has been a game changer so again we've got oil we've got all the wrapping stuff here we have cocoa pops for breakfast because it's easy <laughs> And then I won't open them both up, but there's two can, uh, two cans, two uh, canvas bags full of food, dry foods, and snacks. And again, they just fit nice and neatly. There is a, another one right at the back as well, so that just makes life so much easier, and we can find it. Speaking of the canvas, oh, I'll jump to the water. We don't have water tanks on our vehicle as yet. 
So we found a quick and easy solution is just buying the 10 litre boxes from supermarkets. They're about five bucks or whatever. And for this two week trip to the Air Peninsula, we've gone through two of them. We probably could have done with a third one because we're on our last little bit now. So we have to be a bit careful for the last couple of those. And then over here, before we went, we reorganized Again, using the canvas bags. So this is like our cleaning bag. So in here has garbage bags, sponges, tea towels, um, odds and ends like that, that you just need for cleaning and organizing. And in here are all the ratchet straps. Have a look in there. I sat down in the shed because our ratchet straps were like everywhere. So I just round them up, put them in separate bags of different sizes. So now we're like, right, we need long ones, we'll get these ones. We need short ones, we'll get these ones. What are these called? I always forget what these are called. Off these straps. Hockey straps in there. Jockey? Hockey. Hockey straps in there. So everything, if we need it, like for this instance, this trip, I broke the little lock on this drawer that keeps the fridge slide, slide from going open. Because Sky has a bad habit of not being able to open it properly. Yeah. And just slams the drawer closed. So John was able to easily get a ratchet strap and just for the rocky roads, like in the Coffin Bay, straps it up so it doesn't S slide backwards into the back window. <laughs> so we just keep these two down the side here. Um, and that makes it easy. Fridge. Now the biggest issue if anyone's got a chest fridge, which a lot of people do when they're camping, is when you put you neaten it all up and you put everything in and then when you pull one thing out it all collapses and it's a pain in the butt to find anything. So I was determined to find a solution for this and I think I've got it at this point. So this is our two-way fridge. What I did again, I just went to Kmart and I found these little fridging shelving. So they actually I've got the label on. Here have a look. <laughs> I didn't even bother to take the label off. Um, so basically what it is is two shelves and if you look in here, can you go oh, in? Yeah. Yep. So all you have to do is lift that up and you can access all the other food that you've put in here and then put it down and then you've got a second divider or a second shelf so instead of piling it all in and having to dig around you just got two shelves you lift them up then I bought these were from Bunnings and they fitted in nicely because the issue we had with this one is there was only a narrow space so these were actually from Bunnings oh there you go still got the labels on them and Bunnings have a variety. It just depends on the dimensions on your fridge and what works. So you have to kind of experiment. And in here was, I just put some more veggies and fruit. Tomatoes I found were the big issue in our last few camping trips because they'd get squashed. So I haven't had one squashed tomato. And great, because now I know where everything is. It's like, right, I need the juice. I know it's on the second tier of the fridge. Or I need tomatoes. Okay, I know it's on the skinny side of the... Uh, second level there are sandwiches for tomorrow so that for me personally has been a huge game changer I can look up here and then this here is just we used it as a, fr a drink fridge and meat sometimes it's a freezer depends where we're going now I always get this wrong what vacuum sealer vacuum sealer we vacuum seal all our meat and what we've found, even if you don't freeze it, it lasts about how long, John? Oh, a week or two yeah, sometimes. Yeah, a couple of weeks longer than if you just buy it from the supermarket and stuff it in. Or put it in a typical freezer bag. Yep. So that's been handy. If you can't or don't have a freezer, just you can buy those from... Um, we got it from Good Guys. Good Guys, JB Hi-Fi, I think even Kate Martin. Everyone does them. Kick-Ass yeah. does them. So FYI, it's a Kick-Ass 95 litre. Fridge, dual zone. Yeah. Good thing. Should have got a cover for it. A bit hammered now, but 
it's really good. And you can change it from a fridge to a freezer. Yep, and... you've got digital thingies on the side. And there. what we like is you, you can, can take, take the whole lid off. The whole lid off, or you can open it from either side. So open. So especially with us open. in a cab where you've got limited height space, yeah. if you can't you can't open it properly, but you can take the whole thing off. So. Yeah. And behind that is just a box yellow tub. That's the advantage. We'll show you the battery set up in a sec. But <clears throat> that box there is where I used to have the 12 volt battery. I used to have a yeah. 12 volt battery box um, made by 12 volt Northern, which is the same as a company in Adelaide, which is same as all the other ones you can buy with a lithium ion battery. But just taking that out and we've I've put one, a lithium thin one behind the back seat. So we've gained like a hell of a lot of space, which makes life a lot easier. Another tip, quick, easy one. We always, we like, prefer, we prefer bread instead of rolls. Uh, sorry, the flatbread. Wraps. So, yeah, the wraps. So sitting it on top of the fridge here has just been helpful because we've put it in all types of places and it's not squashed. It's up on top of the fridge, you know where it is, it's not going to be squashed. Great. Solar panel. Mechanically wise, we're, that's just a Ridge Rider 200 watt solar panel, which we bought from Super Cheap Auto, which does a bloody great job. It's been, you know, on a sunny day here, it's been putting in 10 amps um, into the battery, which has been pretty good. Just folds up into nice a small little bag uh, because we've got a fold out roof tent. Um, we don't have the capacity or capability to put on solar panels on it, but we, because of the bag set up and then we'd have to put something over the top and I hate doing stuff like that for setting up. When I get to camp, I just wanna get it in and get it out really quickly so that that mat is really, really good for that. Um, in here, I've got lights in the back, which are, just, these are just the King strip lights, which I've cable tied to the internal roll bars of the canopy um, and join up to the 12 volt outlook box, which you can probably see glowing yeah. in the dark in the corner. So that was part of my new battery setup that I put in for this year. Um, fishing rod holders on each of the bars. That is as simple as two cable ties on either end. Um, just keep them up out of the way. Um, but easy access, um, you might have seen earlier in the year I did a video because we used to have a slide window mm. on that win on the driver's side window, which was a pain in the bum. So I swapped that out for a lift up and that has been magic as well. Because now we can access everything on that side as well as that side just by lifting up instead uh, of having a sliding window. Correct. One of the new purchases for this year from Snowies <coughs> was the LED lighting. I used to have the strip lights like these and have to cable tie them around the outside. Bit of a pain in the bum. Um, so these are about 60 bucks, 70 bucks at Snowies. So this is an LED light kit with a cigarette lighter which goes into said box. And it's on a telescopic pole which I'll show you the I've improvised. Mm -hmm. get a, the actual You're light unit is up yeah. there. I'll show you in a sec. So, theory is, you stake that in the ground. There's normally another little ring like this, which is broke off, so that's a quality issue. Because uh, I went to pull it out of the ground, and I'm either really strong, or it's really weak. And that sits there like that like a fishing rod holder effectively. Hit that in the ground, put the pole in there, and I'll show you the light actually in a sec so you can adjust the height. But I went to pull it out of the ground and the ring break off. So, not much good. Good idea in principle. Um, so that's pretty good and it's 2400 lumens. And I didn't think it would be very bright actually, but it is really, really good. So, what it is, what I've done, is I've taped it creative. outside the roof. <laughs> so the pole normally screws on here. Yep. 
and so it sits like that on top of the pole um, but I actually found it works really there gaff tape plug it comes with a remote mind you and a dimmer so wireless remote and dimmer which I don't know where it is I think it's in the car uh, and a manual off on as well so all that does now is spins around and just plugs into my power box. Um, this is the space here that used to have the battery, which was a tied down. So I had to put that in first, wire that all up, then put the fridge on and do all that sort of stuff, which was a right pain. Um, so now we've got a whole new space. Under here's our three by three meter pergola. Um, and our camp chairs just sit on there. So anything where we pull up, we can just pop the window, chair straight out and mesh if we wanted to. Now, when we camp... I like getting my feet up because I'm lazy. Here we go, John. John likes to put his feet up, as do I. And these are only... Oh, these are like 10 bucks yeah. or something. They're little spin effects seat. They're actually little chairs. And uh, again, take up no space. Snowies. And they go in a little plastic bag. Like that. So you can actually take them as a fishing chair or something like we go to the beach you can use it as a chair as well but i like putting my feet up whether i'm inside or out and i've got a little carry strap there mm. there we go <laughs> and speaking of which a lovely purple table oh yeah yeah this is this is a new thing that we found that when we now we're not endorsed by snowies at all we are just customers it happens to be close to home <laughs> <laughs> now this was the idea this is <laughs> that's pretty cool so it goes down to that you can carry it like that so you can a carry strap and you can actually set the heights all you simply do is twist it and you can set the heights to whatever you want all the way up it's actually load run to 150 kilos i think so it's actually a chair i'm not 150 kilos mind you quite comfy we we'll use it as a bar table yeah um, what's it called outdoor connection yeah and again the way that it packs down is so it, flat right. is all just you do, fingers in the corner that's light uh, that's it yeah and especially with us because we don't have a camper trailer we don't have any of that sort of stuff to put all this Oh, I might use it, I might not. It either has a certain purpose or it doesn't yep. for us. And what is that does. Alright, this is the back seat of our car. Looks a bit disorganized, but we know what's going on. <laughs> so we've got our medication down there and there's behind there first aid kit. We just got this one from King's. We'd probably get a better one, but in here it's just got some odds and ends like tissues, ponchos, um, some coffee mug things, shopping bags. A couple of hockey straps, mate. Hockey straps. Most people do this, hang them from the, on the ceiling of the car. And we just hang our towels up there when we obviously use them and it works well. You can also put your hats up there while we're driving along. Um, the biggest thing is obviously all our clothing goes in the back. It's the only space for them and that way they can be kept out of the dust. Um, something we've tried different this time, which has worked well, is using little packing cubes or packing bags. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So in here, we, you know, in the past, very similar situation with uh, chest fridges. You put something in and you're like, right, Where's my socks? Where's my shoes? Where's my t-shirt? I have to pull it out. So, packing cubes. And a lot of people are aware of these anyway, but um, it's the first time we've used them. And John, we think they're pretty good. They've been helpful, haven't they? Yes, John? Yeah. They've been very helpful. So again, these are from Kmart. So you could get these ones that were all labeled or you could get three for $9. 
uh, which were a decent size. So again, like I put one for beach stuff, one for shorts, one for dresses, one for underwear, all that type of thing. But obviously you can organise it how you see fit. But it just helps with finding your clothes when you want them. And that's always a bigger issue, particularly when you're like us and camping literally in the back of your car with your clothing. Um, one other tip I found is I have a shopping bag where all my dirty clothes go in. Most people would typically do something similar. Um, but that's it. But that's been really, really helpful. So, whoop. again, you can go to all different camping stores. It can be from Kmart or you can go and get more expensive ones from Anaconda. It just depends on sizing you want and what type of packing cube. But they definitely 100% help with finding the clothes. Hi, and welcome to John's. Oh, someone's crushed your party, John. Lizard. All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Uh, our setup from the rooftop is pretty basic. Many brands, all that sort of stuff. Um, we're just doing it on a budget. Roof rack from... BCF. Yeah, it was a BCF one. BCF one. Yep. It's a steel one. So it's good. Just U bolts on, nice and easy. BCF by leaf dam. Um, shovel. Shovel bracketry on it. Our roof top on the car is pretty light on, so I've got two sets of max tracks. Um, just for the simple ratchet strat, you know, you can buy all sorts of different brackets and stuff for your uh, max tracks. Um, I don't see the point. In this setup, something else, they come in very handy, but for us, having a, a $2 Bunnose ratchet strap over works just as well. And our beach chairs, sand chairs are on the top with another ratchet. So those are pretty much the only two things that we put on the roof of the car and the basket comes off um, nice and easy. Um, not terribly exotic, not terribly sophisticated, but it does really well. Works for us. And works for us. And we... You don't have to always spend the best on everything. Yep. And the Darchy tent? Oh, Darchy Panorama 1400. Uh, out. She is now. We got a bit better this year. We went for an airbed inside it instead of the... When we went to um, Darwin, saw. That cost a fortune. Cost a fortune, didn't really, I didn't think they were that good to be honest, no. in personal opinion. Um, and you still had to suck the air out of them to get them all flat. Um, Go back to old school. <laughs> old, old school, air bed. Um, Sorry, we're getting distracted by this lizard. <laughs> not that we're worried, I just don't want to get up in the middle of the night and step on him. Or, or I'm, uh, there he is. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, so now with the air bed, we get all the bedding. Dunas included, pillows, fantastic. We don't have to sit on it to get yeah. it down. Flats are really easy. So we'll show you in a moment um, what that looks like in terms of packing. All right. So this is packing up the rooftop tent. Ooh. Now, as we mentioned, we have an air bed. We've tried many different mattresses over the years and we've found the old traditional air bed works well so we have an air bed then we put a i guess a doona on there just to smooth it because the air beds have those divots so just to smooth it a bit and then we've got our um sleeping bags so what we're going to do now is just let it down it's very quick and easy and actually putting it up it's probably only oh no more than five minutes so we'll put it down so now what i've done is i've just see that black line that's the middle part of the um, rooftop where it folds over so i just folded each layer the sleeping bag the quilt and the air mattress now that it's let down fold it over in half so it makes it really easy to flip the whole tent over so the pillows i kind of put in the middle not on the end end like don't put it there because it makes it really hard to squash down so we we'll just put them sort of in the middle there and all of that fits 
very easily in. So first step John just did was folding down the little entranceway and then the ladder and it all gets pulled up over like so. See the covers now on. And all we need to do is just zip it around. You can see it zips around. Really easily. The only issue we always have is we can never reach around and zip that bit up, no matter what. So what we just make sure is that this zip goes around the corner and generally well, always it's it's fine. And then these little ropes just flip over. And there we go. All packed up and easy. Ready for our next destination.